second American civil war today, a war against Republican, conservative Americans, libertarians, anyone with a brain. Because the Democrats, the socialists, the communists, the establishment Republicans, establishment Democrats, the deep state, and the lying criminal mainstream media, fake news cannot accept the fact that Donald Trump is the president of the United States. Oh yeah, and Republicans control both houses of Congress because the Democrats don't have any ideas. All they have is violence. And you can never resort to violence when it comes to politics or you lose the moral high ground because you have no argument. You have to resort to violence. That's what we're seeing out of the Democrats. Lies, propaganda, and violence. Let's go now to some of these reports. It's truly amazing the environment that the mainstream media and establishment have created in this country for a civil war. They have blood on their hands. Let's go to these reports now. Drudge Report. America's new face of hate. And of course, it's this guy. Bernie Bro goes on shooting rampage. Congressman in critical condition. Will need additional operations. Suspect trolled near by ball field leading to leading up to attack distraught over election it's time to destroy trump and company he was a rachel maddow super fan trend of violence towards republicans michael savage we are at a boiling point going to be a civil war and coulter the resistance goes live fire trump Faces first big domestic moment, praise from both sides. And of course, today is Donald Trump's birthday. Happy birthday, President Trump. It's Flag Day. Happy birthday, Stars and Stripes. And it's the birthday of the U.S. Army. Happy birthday, U.S. Army. Now let's go to some of these headlines. Daily Mail, Congress Baseball gunman was a Trump-hating, angry little man. Hero cops kill Illinois man, 66, who opened fire on Republican lawmakers on the president's birthday, leaving five injured. James Hodgkinson, 66, died in the hospital after being shot by Capitol Police at the baseball field in Virginia. He was a starch Democrat with staunch Democrat who documented his hatred for President Trump on his social media pages. Hodgkinson moved from his home in Illinois to Virginia two months ago and had been living out of his car. He has a long criminal history, which includes an assault charge for punching his female neighbor as she tried to protect his daughter from him in 2006. Steve Calias, Scalias, the House Majority Whip, is in critical condition after being shot in the hip by the gunman this morning at 6 a.m. He was taking part in a GOP practice session with other politicians when Hodgkinson opened fire on them. Two Capitol Police officers were there to protect the 51-year-old Scalias bravely returned fire on the gunman, killing him. They were injured along with lobbyists The two Capitol Police were injured, along with lobbyist Matt Minka and congressional staffer Zachary Barth, but all are expected to recover. Thursday's game, which the men were practicing for, will go ahead as planned, despite the shooting. Here he is, congressional shooter, recently wrote, it's time to destroy Trump and company on his Facebook page there it is right here trump is a traitor trump has destroyed our democracy it's time to destroy trump and company a post on his facebook page gop house whip eve scalias remains in critical condition after shooting at baseball practice here's an update hospital says scalias needs more operations Suspect blasted GOP over favoring super rich in letters to local newspaper. 
Virginia shooter, and then here's, here he is holding his sign, tax the rich like Congress did 70 years ago till Reagan's trickled down. We need 20 brackets, 20 million. Virginia shooting suspect was distraught over Trump's election, brother says. Of course, that story again. Hodgkin's letters, I have never said life sucks, only policies of the Republicans. I'm not going to go through all his letters. Shooting at GOP baseball practice, latest in pattern of violence against Republicans. Remember all the town halls that are out there shouting, shame, shame, shame. And Betsy DeBoss goes to Detroit school on her first day in office as the head at the head of the Department of Education. And they're out there's men, grown men out there attacking a woman, left wing communist socialist, saying shame, shame. Shame. They're going to Republican town halls, all paid for by left-wing foundations, George Soros and the like, part of a destabilization program to cause a civil war in this country, a race war. Now we're seeing it turning into a communist socialist revolution. Amazing. Continuing here. We need accountability from the Democrats, the establishment, the deep state, and the lying criminal fake news mainstream media, they have fomented this environment for violence. Michael Savage predicted violence by margin by marginals day before attack. We're at a boiling point. There's going to be a civil war. Remember Ann Coulter? She got shut down her free speech at Berkeley, just like Milo Yiannopoulos did. They had riots. The Antifa communists were there shutting down the free speech. The police stood down and did nothing. The communist socialist Berkeley mayor applauded it. And Coulter says the resistance goes live fire. Hillary Clinton's out there saying she's the member of the resistance movement. All these communist socialists are trying to start a hot war, a revolution, civil war in this country. Trump faces biggest domestic moment. All sides are closely watching his temperament in this time of crisis. I thought he had great temperament on his birthday. Um, continuing here, Zero Hedge. Of course, we had this uh, Terry McCullough. Governor Terry McAuliffe calls for gun control at scene of baseball shooting incident. Let's go to that video now from this piece of trash uh, vote rigging in Virginia. Governor, communist socialist gun control scumbag. Men with guns stopped a bad man with a gun shooting at Congress today. But let's hear from this piece of trash gun control fascist well let me say this i think we need to do more to protect all of our citizens i have long advocated uh, this is not what today is about but there are too many guns on the street we lose 93 million americans a day to gun violence i mean i've long talked about this background check shutting down gun show loopholes yeah, that's not for today's discussion but it's not, not just about politicians Governor, can you we worry about this every day for all of our citizens Why, Governor, can you so there you have it. Uh, the like one hour. It was like one, two hours after the shooting, and uh, this guy, governor of Virginia, comes out calling for gun control, and then misquoting ninety-three million Americans die from gun violence a day, and then they say ninety-three million or ninety-three die. Fake, made-up statistics, lies, propaganda. They want to take away your guns and enslave you to a, a socialist, communist, police state. These people are scum of the earth. Continuing here. One down, 216 to go. New York rep received threatening emails after Virginia shooting. They're receiving death threats saying kill all Republicans in Congress. It's truly amazing. In this uh, more zero head shooter identified as never Trumper James Hodgkinson. Mr. President, you are the biggest asshole ever. 
He was a big time Bernie supporter. Of course, Bernie disavowed, but Bernie helped create this environment. Here's what President Trump had to say in response to today's terrorist attack. 7 a.m. this morning, a gunman opened fire on members of Congress and their staffs as they were practicing for tomorrow's annual charity baseball game. Authorities are continuing to investigate the crime, and the assailant has now died from his injuries. Very presidential by President Trump there. Here's the suspect again, age 66. Is this caused due to our failed economic policies? In part, this guy blamed the Republicans. Um, I blame the private central bank cartel, Federal Reserve Central Bank. But violence is never the solution. Okay, Trump was democratically elected. And again, the radical left wing, far left, Socialist communists have pushed nothing but hate and violence toward the president. Remember, uh, Madonna said blow up the White House and on and on it goes with threats of violence against Trump and his supporters. Twitter, here's a flashback. that that was in san jose california during the campaign trump supporter violently attacked the media downplayed the whole event said it was no big deal said trump was calling violence these are all illegal aliens out there waving mexican flags but uh screaming uh la raza basically the mexican kkk funded by left-wing foundations fomenting violence do any Democrats denounce this? No. Do they disavow? No. Does the mainstream media disavow? No. Because they want to foment a violent civil war in this country. Let's go to video now. The moment gunmen open fire on GOP baseball team. Where is that? Do we know where he's at? He's behind home plate. If you call that one, like the I assume people have been calling 911 already. Fuck. Hey, is that guy okay out there? The guy, has that guy been shot? Is he okay? Is anybody, talk, anybody talking to him? 